there are some unspoken rules of driving here in Bali that you should know about. If you don't want to die, you should watch this video. Scooters are easiest and cheapest way of transportation here in Bali. Locals had a lot of practice riding on these crazy and hectic roads. If you think you can come here, hire a scooter and just ride away, you ride you can. And nobody will stop you from riding away into a ditch or into a cliff. Only you can do that. But you took a motorcycle course and have a driver's license with years of experience. It only means that you underestimate the danger. Nobody drives by the rules you know. Better yet, there are some unspoken rules you should know about before jumping on a bike. Listen carefully for the next couple of minutes because it can save your life or life of your friend after you share this video. Okay, good luck. Why is there unspoken rules that are different from driving rules? Because of corruption, people can buy driver's license and sometimes they don't even bother to learn the driving rules. They just learn from watching how other people drive. That's why there are some learned bad habits that get passed on to new drivers. There are police officers on the road, but they usually don't care about small road infractions. They are the ones doing it as well. Police are mostly on the road in the morning to regulate the heavy morning rush. But they also have roadblocks from time to time there is a high chance that they will wave you over to stop if you show them your touristy face. Let me explain. The only driver license that are valid in Bali are the Indonesian and international driver's permit. Most of tourists don't have either and the home country's license is not valid here. But most tourists drive anyway because nobody will stop you from renting a scooter and driving away, except for the police of course. When police stop you, there are two types of tickets. The red one, this one you have to pay at the court at a special date. And the blue one, this is the maximum amount of punishment possible. And you can pay it right away without going to the court. Guess which one the tourist will choose to avoid problems and to avoid courts. Knowing that you can just pay off the police makes tourists more brave. They drive like idiots without the helmet and disrespect the law. That's also the reason why locals drive as they know instead of how they should. They are afraid of the police more than they respect the order of driving. Outside of the city where there's no police, anything goes as long as you don't crash. Keep your eyes peeled at all times. People can slam on brakes in front of you and they are not shy to be standing in the middle of the road blocking traffic. When somebody wants to turn or to cross the road, they will sometimes not be patient to wait until the traffic clears. They will drive as far into the traffic as possible, blocking half of the road. People will have to drive around them until they block 100% of the road. That's when the traffic stops and they are able to turn and continue driving. If you doze off, you can find yourself driving into somebody who happens to be blocking the road in the middle of traffic. Dogs usually know how to avoid getting hit and they are not easily scared, but tourists are. Don't get trolled by a dog by getting into an accident. Slow the fuck down. Chickens are different. You'll clearly see them crossing the road to avoid getting hit by the bike. But like a daredevil, they will change direction and run across your path again in opposite direction. On top of moving targets, there are static targets. Roads are not always built by professionals, especially in a village. There can be large holes or obstructions, like a tree in the middle of the road, or a construction debris without any markings or reflectors. Hopefully, you're able to avoid it daytime, but at night, it's really hard. Be aware and never rush at night anywhere. Some people never learn how to use blinkers. When people are riding scooters, they can sometimes blink left when they actually turn in right. Yes, it happens a lot, so be aware of this. Don't assume well people will turn just because they use blinkers. It will fuck you up. Also, sometimes they don't use blinkers at all when turning. There is also unspoken rules about how to use hazard lamp. Some people turn it on when going straight. Don't be fooled. Indonesian law prohibits this. It's one of those bad learned behavior that people pass on. I mean, people on the left think that you will turn left and people on the right will think that you will turn right but you're actually going straight. It's dangerous and stupid, but people still use hazard lamp to signal that they're going straight. Next time you see this, it does not mean that the car is broken down in the middle of the intersection. It probably means that they are going straight. Bikes are not even supposed to have that kind of lamp. They don't need it. But here you go. People mod it into a bike so that you can, you can use it. 
you know, double parallel lines that you're not allowed to cross. Yeah, that means you can just speed, right? No, you're wrong. People still, people still pass each other and do U-turns, like that motherfucker. <laughs> Over there. You're not allowed to do U-turns and you're not allowed to cross those parallel lines. There are usually dotted lines in between lanes to separate them from each other. Some people use that as a guide for the car to drive on. Bikes can still drive around the car, but they're essentially blocking two lanes with one car, like an idiot. And when people change lanes, sometimes they don't blink. They can slowly merge into new lane, so be careful. And if you are the type of person who is extra safe with keeping the distance to the next person, it only signals the guy behind you that they can pass you because there's a spot between you and the next guy in front. Parking is straightforward. There are private parking areas where you need to pay, but there are also public roads that seem to be free because there are no signs, but they actually have parking guys who will take one, two or five thousand for you to park. It prevents people from just parking and leaving their bikes. Parking guys are usually outside stores, parks and other traffic area. Brafa, do you want Yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm Parkir. Yeah. Apa itu? Parkir. Parkir gaya. Parkir. Parkir pa. Yeah. Parkir pa. <laughs> yeah, makasih pa. Other than that, you can park anywhere unless there are no parking signs or a straight line. But people don't give a fuck anyway because there's nobody giving you a parking ticket. People will park like assholes whenever they can, even in front of other people's houses sometimes. <laughs> In some countries, you're only allowed to honk in an emergency situation. That way, when you honk, it's only an emergency. In Indonesia, the rules are a bit different. You're allowed to honk in an emergency and to avoid dangerous situations on the road. It's widely used on small roads that have 90 degree invisible turns. Cars usually honk to let the other side know about oncoming traffic, so that both are aware of the situation. But people also honk before crossing a bridge to ask permission from the spirits for a safe passage. They also honk when they're about to cross a burial ground if it's close to the road. Like this one, like a tree wrapped in cloth. And they honk from time to time just because they feel like it. <laughs> Don't be stressed out. It's not you they're honking at, unless it is you. Mod culture is strong without anybody to regulate it. People mod their bikes or drive faster and louder, but sometimes they modify their bikes to blink and look like a police vehicle. Don't worry, they are probably not the police and they are not after you. When you see police on the road, they are probably getting to work or escorting a very important person who wants to avoid the traffic. One dangerous modification you should look out for is when people mod lights. Some people just drive without lights at all at night or have red and white lights switched. Just drive slower at night, that's my point. When you drive in a village, it can seem safer because the traffic is not as dense. But in reality, there is no police and villagers don't give a fuck about driving rules at all. They drive without helmets, no plates or proof of ownership, really fast on the wrong side of the road if they feel like it, while having an oversized cargo on the bike and extra passengers. Moral of the story, don't relax even if it seems safe. You better slow down and enjoy the beautiful Balinese scenery. Some tourists come to Bali and think they can imitate locals without having years of driving experience. They drive without a helmet after having a couple of beers at night without knowing what kind of hazard they might be on the road. Don't be a statistic. If you see other people rent bikes and do some crazy shit, think they are the shit. They probably are the shit. Stupid shit. Don't be stupid shit. There's a lot of news articles about tourists getting into accidents. Hiring a taxi is cheaper than paying for the hospital bill because your insurance won't pay for the accidents you cost while driving illegally in Bali. So be extra safe because you can drive does not mean other people can. Driving in Bali can be dangerous, but it can also be the cheapest and most convenient way of getting your ass from one place to another. Hopefully I convince you to take it easy and drive slowly with a helmet on. 
That way you can enjoy the beautiful Balinese scenery instead of the hospital ceiling with a bad feeling. Send this video to your idiot friend to let them know about the dangers and what to look out for. Like and subscribe. Rolling sink after watching this video. Sink, 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 sink. sink. I'm rolling. Okay, one more time. It's gonna be like this, yeah? So, ah oh, fuck, it's hot. <laughs> Don't touch it. Okay, one more time. Good luck. Oh yeah, I don't have a key. <laughs> I need a key to start it, yeah? So, it's on now. It's on, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's do it again. No, 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 no. The debut. <clears throat> Okay, let's, let's take it again. Other than that, you can park anyway, 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 anywhere. That's it. Boom, 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 boom. Something like that. Yeah. I think that's fine.